from the mid 2020s what we found was of course you know south africa in mid 2020s wasn't a failed state or even a failing state some might say a bit fragile but whatever whatever the case is what really happened was that people were just getting fed up um, things were not happening right um, some of you who were around mid 2020s early 2020s know what that means things were not happening right um, things were going badly in 2026 um, economic growth had increased quite substantially um, and that was because of a number of things that were put into place from the early 2020s in, in terms of structural reform began delivering in 2026 but people didn't see the benefit of economic growth. You can talk about 5% economic growth, but if it doesn't improve uh, employment and uh, doesn't improve social delivery, it really means nothing. And South Africans became, well, khatfall. Uh, by the end of 2026, 2027, people began taking to the streets, uh, protests, I mean, we already were the protest capital of the world, protests all over the country uh, on all kinds of issues, local, provincial, national issues, um, social movements uh, began to mobilize, uh, seeing the anger of the people, NGOs got on board as well, um, and we found this whole kind of new rolling mass action type thing happening in the late 2020s. Um, artists, creatives, uh, as we might call them, also began to plug in to this, uh, this protest culture of, of that period. Um, we then found religious people uh, begin to lead marches and a, by, the, by 2029, 2030, a strong interfaith alliance had formed. All of this, uh, in a sense, created a, a feeling among people, number one, that citizens had to do things for themselves. We needed an active citizenry because government and big business wasn't going to do it for us. And secondly, the khatfallness was a general sense across rural urban, across uh, uh, gender, across uh, rich and poor uh, as well, unless you are super rich, um, across all kind of, uh, barriers, uh, kinds of barriers that existed, across religion. Um, and so the khatfallness became a way in which people kind of became united. The anger was channel channeled into creativity. Big business first saw the dangers and opportunities, uh, began to work with some civil society organizations to create um, opportunities, uh, grow the informal sector. And before the 2029 election, that sense was also felt by, um, by government. Our unemployment this year um, is 18%, uh, youth unemployment 35%.